my first, my name is Adam Teichler, and he was called John Adam Teichler. And secondly, I am in, always had, there always was in my parents' house, this etching of that picture uh, of John Teichler. But other than that, I knew very little about him. Um, I was going through the attic, looking for something completely different, and I found this envelope with my name on it, which I'd never seen before. Anyway, I, well, I really didn't think much more about it, but I went to the pub that Sunday and uh, was chatting away to a chap called Andrew Johnson, who is a, was a Gurkha and is a friend of the Gurkhas. But anyway, Andrew, I, I didn't know he'd been in the Gurkhas, and he said to me, um, I said, I've got these papers of this chap, and he was a VC. And I think Andrew thought I was talking absolute rubbish. And uh, anyway, a week later, back in the pub on a Sunday, I mean, it was a bit like being, um, you know, telling somebody that, you know, I lived in Manchester, my grandfather was George Best. I mean, I was, you know, like being an FA Cup medal winner or something. Um, suddenly my standing in the pub rose hugely. So then, after that, well, then I went back and read the papers and then you know the rest, I brought them down to you. I'd just like to know what um, life was like for a British officer in, in, in India in that time. I mean, it's, you know, when you think of the extraordinary changes that have happened in, say, the last 20 years, so what it must have been like in India in 1860, being um, a, a top-flight soldier, must have been quite extraordinary. And you know, I'd love to know what it was, in a way, what it was like. It must have been an extraordinary uh, life and very grand, fantastic life. And that's why I'd, I'd love to know about that. Well, I think I'm going to answer that by reading this. And it was a obituary somewhere which said of him, um, brave as a lion, gentle as the most feminine of women, Beloved by his men, unthinking of self, no man in the Indian army has performed such deeds as his men, lost so small. Taking a valiant with Muzjid, at the opening of the campaign would have developed great sacrifice of life. General Titler, by great exertion and personal fatigue, got in the rear and the fort was evacuated and entered by our troops without firing a shot. I mean, I just think, you know, that's, that isn't, that's admirable for any man to do in the future. If you say, what can we learn from him? Well, I think to be a good soldier and be kind and a kind person at the same time.